everyone. Welcome back to the Barney Homestead. My name is Jess Barney. I am out in the garden this morning trying to fix one of my garden failures in my fall garden. Contrary to what you might see on YouTube, Instagram, other places that you might find inspiration from people's gardens, there are always failures in the garden. Nobody has a perfect garden. And I will tell you that for this fall's garden, one of my failures was and currently is my spinach. I got zero germination on all of the spinach that I planted about a month ago. Now, I think the reason I got zero germination was it was still pretty warm when I planted it. I saw one sprout pop up a few weeks ago and then it just kind of disappeared. So I am actually going to be re-sowing my spinach bed today and seeing if I can get some germination and some spinach before the winter comes along. Now the other thing that I'll say is I know it's not the soil in the bed because I also planted bok choy in this bed and that has germinated and is doing great. So let me take you in for a little bit of a closer look. So here is the bed and you can see all of this that just looks like dirt is where I planted all of my spinach and then I had two rows of bok choy here. The bok choy looks good the spinach, there's no green whatsoever. Now, spinach is one of those crops that takes a little bit longer to germinate. It can take anywhere from seven to 21 days. However, like I said, I planted this about a month ago, so I should definitely be seeing germination if it was going to germinate. And I'm not seeing any. Um, I see something green here. This is just a weed. It is currently September 30th and my estimated first frost date is October 25th. So I have a little bit less than four weeks before my estimated first frost. However, spinach is frost hardy, so it can survive a frost. Here's what I know to be true. If I don't plant the spinach, I'm definitely not gonna get any spinach because I have no germination. However, if I attempt to replant the bed, there is a chance that I might get some spinach before winter comes around and nothing is growing in my garden. So I'd rather err on the side of a possibility than not at all. So I've got my spinach seeds here. They're in a bag because the paper seed pouch ripped at the bottom. Um, but this is the Equinox spinach from Johnny Seed. Again, I know it's not the seed, it's actually the growing environment. Prior to planting the first round, I amended the bed with some balanced fertilizer and some worm casting that I had left over. So I'm gonna do some pretty heavy sowing with these spinach seeds just to see what I can get. I like to stagger plant my spinach seeds, so kind of off center, kind of making a triangular pattern. So I'll show you what that looks like. So when I say that I stagger plant, I'm going to head and make a hole here, um, a hole here, a hole here. So I've got one, two, three, and then in the middle of these, I'm gonna put one there and one there, and I'm just gonna kind of go up and down in rows um, in this half of this bed. So I've got my little seeds in their holes, and I am just going to take my hand and roughly add the soil back over each hole. Final step would just be to water the seeds in well to make sure that they are moistened and the soil around them is damp to help with germination. You need moisture for seeds to germinate. All right, so the next step is just kind of to wait and see what happens and hope that I get some better germination. I say this because again, every garden is gonna have failures in it, but just because it's a failure the first time doesn't mean that you can't try and re-sow more seeds. Gardening can definitely be frustrating when things don't work as planned, but when you are dealing with mother nature, sometimes she just has a different agenda than you do. And so don't get frustrated, just think about what you can do to try and remedy the situation. If you're ever in doubt, just plant the seed because if you don't plant the seed, you're not gonna get anything. If you do plant the seed, there's a possibility that you'll get something. 
So I hope this was a little bit of encouragement for you today as you are working in your own fall gardens. And just remember, there's always gonna be things that are successful and there's always gonna be things that are not, and that is perfectly okay. Even when it doesn't work out, you learn and you get better for the next time. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.